And what we are trying to do in this presentation is to show you how you can use the same technology that we already use for years in news and uh, sports domains uh, for virtual sets and also augmented graphics to show you how you can maybe open your mind for a second and to think about your uh, entertainment shows, quiz shows, chat shows, kids shows, um, reality shows. I don't know. Let's, let's maybe try to see uh, how we can use it. So let's get rid of the Fox uh, Studio and I, I will stand here in the middle of a stage. So in the click of a button I'm in the stage, you can see the video wall behind me, you can see the mic, you can see the speakers, and now it's a virtual set, but a very different one. Not something that you saw in the past in news and sports. This is something you can use. And you can use the video wall behind me to put any video you, you want, or graphics, or animation. And this is uh, the style of graphics that will try to mimic the real world. But if you want to use it, let's say, for example, in kids show, let's just open the stage, and now I'm, see I'm standing on top of an island. Yeah? All right. So, you can just maybe draw on the sand. It's very nice. And it was just a click of a button. You can see the limits of the fabric itself, the green fabric. So you don't really, um, you can use the whole studio for that, but if you want, if we, if we can bring it uh, for a minute back, just to show that we don't need um, to be limited to the green screen itself. So now I have the whole world as the virtual world. Excellent. What else have you got up your sleeve? This is augmented graphics. The difference between augmented graphics and virtual set is that virtual set, you need a green screen. In augmented graphics, we have a hard set, or maybe even if you want to shoot outside, okay? You can use the, the world itself, or the physical world, and just put some augmented graphics uh, in it. And you can use augmented graphics uh, wherever you want. Let's say you can put a bunny in front, in the back, or even if you want, up in the ceiling, like the air balloon. Not only that, because we have a powerful engine, powerful graphic engine, we can use as many objects as we want. So let's say 50 bunnies right now around me, just in a click of a button. Now let's get rid of the bunnies and let's say I want to uh, see if someone already, after two minutes of the presentation, said something about it in social networks. So let's open maybe Twitter or, or uh, Facebook and see what people said about it. Yeah, that's a selfie with me. Okay, you can also use, let's close the bubbles, and you can also use uh, augmented graphics for sponsorships. So if I want to show you uh, who is the sponsor for my presentation, I can just bring a track into the studio. So let's just bring it. This presentation was brought to you by the Bunny Movers. We'll do any job for carrots. If you have a reality show, you can use an LCD screen, let's open the LCD screen, and you can show infographics inside the 3D space, uh, this half 2D, half 3D LCD screen, and you can show uh, voting results or any kind of info infographics you have in your show. And maybe even you can show if someone is going to be eliminated, like maybe me, I don't know. And for the last thing, I want to maybe show you or demonstrate how we can uh, use a real big object to educate kids or maybe to use it in trivia questions. So let's bring the elephants to the studio. Let's open the, the platform in the floor and bring the elephants. And now you have two African elephants. One is small, one is big. The question is, which of the elephants is in the right real size of an African elephant? The one that is in, uh, on my left or the one on my right? What do you say, left or right? This one, this is the right elephant. Are you sure? Let's see, let's see the right uh, answer. No, this is the right one. And I guess you are, uh, if, if you are amazed like me from the size of the elephant, you can understand how you can demonstrate the size of things using augmented graphics without really bringing an, a real elephant to the studio. And what's uh, nice about augmented graphics is that I can really walk behind the object and I can look at the elephant, and I can also change the camera angles, and I can go with the camera around the elephant uh, to look uh, above it or behind it, because you can use a 360 degree. 